Alright guys, this is Tokraft, and as you can see, I'm driving my Canavan, and I'm going uphill into mines, and I'm also playing a platoon with Feyenoord, he's playing his T28 prototype, very cool tank, and he is going to camp off that small hill over there, but I'm going up this hill, as you can see a few tier 6 tanks are following me, the VK has been spotted, I don't have a quite good shot on him, so I'll just keep driving forward. The VK tries to have a shot on him, but I'm not interested in that VK. I'm going forward all the way to the stone over there. Because the stone will prevent my turret, uh, prevent my hull from getting hit. So that's always very handy, what you have to keep an eye out in the Kinavan. And I shot right to the gun of that other heavy tank first shot is in and as you can see I am protecting my hull with the stone which is in front of me and I am trying to get shots at the VK tier 6 so it's really juicy Enemy and there's the first kill and now I've got some quite good shots on the VK-36H They decided to, to go for the turret because the turret of the tank is really weak And his armor on the hull of that tank was really well angled so I decided to go for his turret Another shot into him Almost a thousand damage points already, that's really fast VK is getting into cover As you can see the Kinava was perfectly um, protected. But, as you can see, there's a lot of enemies advancing from the other side. And they can't stay a chance alone against them. So I'm going in as well. There's a tiger. I shot into him. And another one. I'm just trying to defend my base from this side of the... Line. And as you can see, we're down three tanks already, so this is not going the good way. This seems like a lost game. There's a Ferdinand on almost 200 health left, so I take him out. So there's the second kill. There's an IS over there, but I'm trying to aim for the Tiger. And there's the IS-6 coming in, but I don't have a quite good shot on him, so I'll leave him. There's the Tiger one. And he burned down. So now I'm trying to advance the IS-6. But they are really well covered. So I'm looking around to find some opportunities. But then, then I decide to just go for the IS-6. waiting for him to get spotted but seems like it's not going to happen so I'm falling back a bit I don't really know what I'm doing right there I think I'm trying to spot the IS-6 but the T-150 got spotted behind me so I immediately turned my tank around and that's really what you have to watch out with the Kanavan don't angle your tank too much you will angle your tank too much you will get penetrated in the site really easily because the Canavan only has 51 millimeters of armor on the front of the, ta the, side of the tank I missed the French heavy there but there's a Yacht Panther coming in he bounced As you can see I've not angled my tank very far that's because I want to protect my side armor They're both gone now. So I'm driving forward to see if that French heavy is still there. Yes, he is. But I don't have quite the time to turn the whole tank around. So I take a clutch shot on it and it's penetrated. There's the T-150 and the Ed Panther is also still behind me. So now I'm out of cover. Oh, there's an IS-6 in front of me. Nice shot into him, the IS-6 got taken out. 
And the French heavy is still above me, but we cannot hit me. So I'm turning around to see if the T-150 and the Egg Panther are still there. Not angling my tank too much. And there's the Egg Panther. Nice shot into him. I angle my armor. I got shot from behind from the lower. The lower. Excuse me. Not really good at German accents. Get going. Another shot into the Egg Panther. And the final shot. So, four kills already. Now, we're down one tank. There's a lower next to me. He bounces. I'm trying to get shots on him, but I don't quite have the shots. And I knew, noticed that still the French Heavy is up here. And as you can see, there's a ELC advancing from my side. But he gets tracked. He slides down. And I took him out. Really awesome. That was the nicest kill of the whole battle, I guess. Enemy is hit. And this Louie here can help me get my top gun. Enemy and it happened. Destroyed. He gave me my top gun. And there's three enemies Let's left. Go. Well, what do you have to do now? You are... Winning now. We're at the winning position. We've got one tank more. There's a Jackson. The French Heavy is still around. And an SPG. Tier 7 SPG. So you really have to see what's happening. One of the guys, my platoon mate, is staying at the base to defend. Because the Jackson has for the last time been spotted on this island. So I guess he's still there. But the French Heavy has been spotted on the hill. So I'm trying to advance the French heavy tank as slowly as I can because I only have 300 health left. I'm trying to see if he's there. Not yet. Not quite yet. So the hill is clear. As far as I go, and the IS is going for the enemy base. That's fine. And I told my platoon mate to get out of their shelter back there, their camping place. As you can see, I'm trying to advance the whole hill. Jackson got spotted. So I'm trying to get a good shot on him. I'm not turning my tank because, yeah, the Jackson is really far away. It's really hard for him to hit me, so it was not necessary to turn my tank at that point. But now I did. But the Jackson has already been unspotted. So nothing to see for me right, right there. So I'm thinking now, let's search the French Heavy. When you're in this kind of positions in the battlefield, you want to take out your enemies as quick as you can. One by one and as quick as you can. Because every time you will kill an enemy tank, that's one gun less shooting at you. Oh, there's the Jackson. Oh, he's been unspotted already. The IS is trying to cap and I'm still looking for the French heavy tank. But he's not findable around the hill. I'm trying to find some better positions. And the IS started the cap. I told the IS to spot, but it's not really smart of me. We can better camp, uh, cap, make him go to the IS. He's the prey. Oh, my platoon mate got killed. And the IS is capping still. The RT of our team is still there and there's the French heavy tank he only has 400 health left that's good news for me I've been spotted and he has 100 health left take a shot gotcha. seven kills there we go and of course it has to be there I got so lucky that the SPG was there another shot and Enemy there is the game destroyed. the game is over guys what a great game, great result, 8 kills.
I love that. So guys, you can see the post-game stance of that game we just played. We got 8 kills and for that we got our Redley Walters medal. We got Top Gun, Wall of Steel and Sniper. I've also collected 49,000 credits. And with that 8 kills, I almost finished that mission of that day. Oh, over there. And as you can see, we have done over 4,000 damage points, giving us a 1,500 base experience, which is which is huge for the canal. And here you can see we've made 23,000 credits profit out of that game. And I have fired 24 shots with... Uh, 24 of those shots hit 23 penetrated giving us a total damage of 4286 and I got hit 18 times of only which 5 penetrated 13 bounced giving us a potential damage of 5575 received I've spotted 2 enemies damage, damaged in total 11 enemies destroyed 8 and I've traveled 1.7 kilometers in that game that guys was the best game I've ever played in World of Tanks I've also uploaded the replay to the uh, best replay of the week you can check it out if you want I will put the link in the video description if you wanna download the replay yourself so guys that's been it hope you liked this episode and hope you've liked the 8 kills which I've made this match. So, I'll see you guys next time.